Good evening. Welcome to the commencement exercises for the class of 2023. At this time, we would like to honor those who are currently and have previously served in the military with the playing of our national anthem. If you'd please rise. Thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome Emma Janicek, Student Council President, with this evening's welcome. Welcome to the commencement exercises for the Sparta High School graduating class of 2023. My name is Emma Janicek, Student Council President. I wish to thank each of one of you for taking the time to be here tonight as we recognize the outstanding accomplishments of our young men and women on their graduation night. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our guests. Please remain standing until all are introduced. Our Board of Education, Mr. Andrew Jensen, President of the Board of Education, Mrs. Amanda Van Streen, Vice President of the Board of Education, Mr. Mark Elster, Secretary of the Board of Education, Mrs. Kim Olusky, Treasurer of the Board of Education, Mrs. Aaron Bormas, Trustee of the Board of Education, Mr. Trim Dr Mr. Tim Driscoll, Trustee of the Board of Education, Mrs. Amanda Bremer, Trustee of the Board of Education, Platform Guests, Mrs. Stacy Rumsey, Principal, Mr. Matt Landry, Assistant Principal, Mr. Joel Stoner, Superintendent, Mr. James Vandenberg, Guest Speaker, Mr. Michael Graham, Class Advisor, Ms. Sarah Clausen, Class Advisor. At this time, we will have Mr. James Vandenberg with an address to the graduates. I was just joking back here with Mr. Landry and Mr. Stoner that the wind's really messing with my hair, but it didn't go over great. <clears throat> First, I want to say what an honor and privilege it is to be selected by the graduating class of 2023 to speak on their special day. I want to acknowledge the school board, the administration behind me, and staff that has helped these students reach this point as well. Nothing in life has shaped me as much as being a father. Your perspective changes on a lot of things. There's no doubt that in life, family and friends are the most important part. And right now, your parents and family are sitting in the audiences in one of two camps of disbelief. First, that their little 18-year-old baby is graduating today. Or second, that their baby is actually graduating today. <clears throat> but either way, as a parent, this is a proud and emotional moment. Make sure you take time to thank them and realize the sacrifices they had to make 
uh, help you make it to get to this point today. A lot of people wanted to give me advice for this speech, but none were as helpful as advice from D. Nice. Where's D. Nice? D. Nice's uh, kind words were quick and to the point. The email simply said, keep it short, kind of like you. So in that spirit, I want to accomplish two quick things with this speech. First, give some advice about stepping into the next phase of your life. And second, tell everyone in attendance about this group sitting in front of me and what they have meant to me over the past four years. First, my advice moving forward. It comes from one of my favorite events and my favorite book. It's the story of David versus Goliath, but it's a part of the story that's often overlooked. There are a number of great lessons in that story. Faith in God, facing your giants, winning as an underdog. However, one of my favorite aspects is the slingshot and the stones and what they can symbolize for us and you guys in our lives. A little historical background because I am a history teacher after all. Goliath, the champion fighter of the Philistine army, was calling out and antagonizing the Israelite army. It was a fairly common practice all the way into the Middle Ages to have two people or two groups of people uh, determine the outcome of a battle. The winner of those conflicts would determine which army was victorious. To say that no professional Israelite soldier wanted to take Goliath up on his offer and risk uh, losing the battle for his entire nation is an understatement. Enter David, the teenage shepherd boy and youngest of eight brothers. He grew up as a farmer and a shepherd, defending a flock of sheep from lions and bears, using a slingshot and stones to do it. David was not a professional soldier, but was more than willing to face Goliath. After he volunteered, the military gave him a bronze helmet, a coat of metal rings, and a sword. David took a few steps after being suited up for battle and realized he couldn't fight with the tools that were expected of him. That was not his background. Trying to fit into everyone else's standards and what it meant to be normal wasn't going to work for David. He took off the armor and picked up his slingshot and five stones and entered the battle. David pulled on his strengths, his previous life experiences, and things he knew, not what everyone else thought he should be. David was himself. David was him. David went out wearing no armor, no sword, and carrying a slingshot and confronted a giant. David used his strengths, passions, and was true to himself and came out victorious. The world needs you to be you more than ever. Embrace who you are and embrace your strengths and passions. Finally, I often get asked what high school students are, students, excuse me, are like in the modern world. Let me use four stories to explain that. My students can attest that I like to tell stories. So here we go. There are literally hundreds of stories I could have picked from the group sitting in front of me. But to highlight what these kids meant to me over the last four years, I went with these four. So here we go. First, they are a positive group. I think of a student who has been through the traumatic experience of losing a beloved family member and I honestly can't think of one instance where I did not see a smile on her face and a positive attitude that accompanied her. Thanks, Kirsten, and the class of 2023 for demonstrating a positive attitude through all your circumstances. You are truly an inspiration. Second, I think of perseverance. I see kids in front of me that have had to deal with a whole host of things during their four years in high school, and each of them has made it through to this point. I specifically think of an event I had while coaching. I benched one of these student athletes over the summer and through our first two games this fall. After not playing well as a team for the first two games, we made some changes and this athlete ended up back on the field. He never complained once when he was benched. He just continued to work and usually talk about duck hunting to me uh, and went on to be one of our most consistent, reliable players. Reese in the class in 2023, thanks for your perseverance. It's a reminder to me to keep going regardless of circumstances. Third, when I think of this class sitting in front of me, I think of work ethic. 
I would sit in first hour AP Euro with my seniors and hear how this student had to get up at 4.30 to juggle work issues, came to school, had to sit through my AP Euro lecture, then balance a being a full-time student, and then head back to work after school. Michaela in the class of 2023, your work ethic is awesome and a motivator for me. Finally, I think of a class that is tough. The image that is forever ingrained in my mind that symbolizes toughness was walking out to this player laying on the 50-yard line of Spartan Stadium. He had a cut on his face with blood coming out of it. His ankle was sprained and his shoulder was probably dislocated at least once at this point. I specifically remember telling him, I feel like George Washington talking to his beleaguered Revolutionary War soldiers during some bleak time during the American Revolution. I'm not sure he appreciated my historical humor, but just like Washington, I was concerned with his ability to keep going. So I asked him, can you continue to play? And in true Gunnar Busen fashion, he simply said, I'm fine. Tough. Class of 2023, thanks for showing me toughness and what it means to be there for others regardless of your circumstances. I want the class of 2023 to know that you embody positivity, perseverance, hard work, and toughness. Thank you for showing me how to be those things and pushing me to be a better person. So as you leave this place and go out into the world, be you, chase your passions, rely on your strengths, grab your slingshot and your five stones, slay giants, and make a positive impact on the world and the people around you. We need you, the world needs you. Go Spartans, God bless. At this time, Assistant Principal Matt Landry will introduce our salutatorian. Pardon me. I have the distinct honor of introducing this year's Sparta High School salutatorian, Emmeline Elizabeth Benham. She is the daughter of proud parents Jennifer and Nate Benham. She's been an honorable mention all-state and multi-year all-conference athlete as a golfer here at Sparta High School. She's going to bring her golf clubs and her academic game and her golf game to Spring Arbor University this fall where she's going to study finance. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you this year's salutatorian, Emmalyn Benham. Good evening. For those who do not know me, my name is Emmalyn Benham. I would like to start by saying a few thank yous. Growing up is difficult, there's no doubt about it. Thankfully, I have been so blessed to have people surrounding me who encouraged and supported me through all of the trials and tribulations. I would like to thank my family, my friends, my teachers and administrators, and my coaches. I do not know where I would be without all of you. All of you have poured into my life, shaping me into the person that I am today. Most importantly, I want to thank God. God has proven his faithfulness to me time and time again in many different ways throughout my life. All of my abilities and talents are gifts from him. He has never once left my side. He has never forgotten me nor forsaken me and I know that he never will. One of my favorite Bible verses is Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you forever you go. We have all been in situations that make us worry. We have all been filled with anxiety and fear over things in our life that did not go the way we wanted them to. 
Whenever I am intimidated by the tasks I'm given, this verse reminds me that I do not need to be afraid. In every situation, situation we are given a choice to face life's challenges with a positive mindset or to shrink away from the challenges crippled by fear. It is certainly much easier to abandon your responsibilities when they become harder than you wish they were, but quitting will not bring you joy and satisfaction in the long run. I may not have lived very much life, but I have been around long enough to realize that life is not easy. There are always going to be curveballs that catch us off guard. We will all be tested beyond our limits and be given more than we think we can handle. In those moments, I encourage all of you to have courage and be strong. When doubters try to sway you, stand firmly in your beliefs and hold on to the values that have been instilled in you. When you feel like giving up, dig your heels in and keep going. Don't let the troubles of this world discourage you from doing what God made you to do. I know it's easier to give up when things get hard, but in hindsight, you will see that the challenges you were faced with were designed to make you stronger. We are all more capable than we think if we, we, are simply, if we simply believe it. Class of 23, I pray that all of us will enter this next chapter of our lives with fearless determination. Go after your wildest dreams without being hindered by the what ifs because what if it's even better than you ever could have imagined? Thank you. It's my pick. This evening, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our 2023 valedictorian, Emma Janicek. Emma is the daughter of Marlene Janicek and James Janicek. During her time at Sparta High School, Emma has been involved with National Honor Society and been president of our student council. She also ran varsity cross country and track, and she has earned all conference, all region, all state, and academic all state honors. In the fall, Emma will be attending Central Michigan University where she'll be running cross country and track. Emma plans on majoring in political science with a future career in law. Please join me in congratulating our 2023 valedictorian, Emma Janicek. Good evening, friends, parents, teachers, admin, and of course, class of 23. I would like to start off by saying, I am honored to be named Sparta's class of 2023 valedictorian and speak before you all today. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all the teachers, staff, and community members that make this school the great place that it is. Without your help and support, none of us will be where we are today, so thank you. When confronted with the task of delivering this speech, I realized the most difficult part would be staying in the two to three minute time, time range given to me. If you know anything about me, you know that I love talking. I have so much I'd like to say, but I'll try to share what I believe is most important before the ceremony comes to an end and we all go our separate ways. When I look out into the crowd of people in front of me, I can't help but to feel an overwhelming sense of pride. 13 years seem to have flown by, and now we're moving on to the next chapter of our lives. After all our hard work, all that's left to do is walk across the stage, shake a few hands, grab a piece of paper, paper, and sit back down. With that said, I am so proud of all of us, and I trust that our class is going to do great things far into the future and positively impact the lives of many for years to come. Though it may be tempting to rush out of here and start fresh elsewhere, I think it is important that we take a minute to slow down and remember where we started. For many of us, Sparta was our first home. We grew up here, met some of our closest friends, made countless memories, and were given the foundation needed to be successful beyond the walls of this high school. Our roots lie here and keep us grounded as we branch off to different journeys. Even though it took me nearly all 18 years of my life to fully appreciate the beauty of Sparta, I'm grateful I finally learned how to just as I am about to leave. 
Recognizing the seemingly insignificant yet beautiful parts of this town help me treasure the small gifts life generous, generously grants us all. As noteworthy as the big moments are, such as moving out, landing your dream job, having children, and even graduating high school, remember to always appreciate the peach skies of the sunset, the taste of a perfectly baked apple pie, the sweet melodies of your favorite songs, and the laughs you share with your loved ones, because the little things aren't so little. We often forget the miracle of being here and the gift of mere existence because we're all so wrapped up in the big picture when truly it is the most minuscule mo moments that make life so beautiful and worth living. Never take a second for granted and don't let yourself grow numb to the beauty that lies in front of you every day. The miraculous mundane is waiting, is begging to be seen. As we all begin the next chapter of our lives, remember that your actions do not need to be larger than life to leave a lasting impact. The best way to achieve greatness is simply by leaving those we meet with a little more happiness than before. In the end, our time spent together will not be remembered by popularity or GPA, but rather by the friendships we've built and the joy we've shared. Once again, congratulations Sparta class of 2023, and I wish you all the best. Next, we will have Superintendent Joel Stoner with a message for the graduates. Thank you. Well, good evening. Congratulations, Spartans. Today, I stand before you filled with immense pride and admiration for each and every one of you. Today's our Super Bowl as we celebrate another graduating class. As Superintendent, it is an honor to address you on this momentous occasion. I recognize that each of you have your own unique story that has led you to this very moment. You have worked hard to get to this point, overcoming challenges and embracing opportunities for growth. Your dedication, hard work, and perseverance have brought you to this very moment of celebration. As you embark on the next chapter of your lives, remember that this is just the beginning of a lifelong journey of learning and self-discovery. The knowledge and skills you have acquired during your time in our schools will serve as a solid foundation for your future endeavors. I encourage you to approach the future with confidence and optimism. Embrace new experiences. Seek out opportunities for personal and professional growth. And remain open to the lessons that life has in store for you. Remember that success is not defined solely by external achievements, but also by the impact you make on the world and the lives of those around you. As you pursue your goals, strive to make a positive difference, be a force for good, and contribute to the betterment of society. In addition to your family, your fellow classmates, teachers, and mentors have played a significant role in shaping who you are today. Always value and cherish the relationships you have formed during your educational journey. As fellow graduates, stay connected, support one another, and continue to learn from each other as you navigate the exciting path that lies ahead. Never forget the importance of resilience. Life may present you with obstacles and setbacks, but it's your ability to bounce back and persevere that will define your character and contribute to your ultimate success. Finally, always remember the values and principles instilled in you by your family, teachers, and this very community. Stay true to your core beliefs and let integrity guide your actions. The world awaits your talents, your creativity, and your passion. As you leave our halls, do so with confidence. Embrace the opportunities that come your way and make a lasting impact on our world. Congratulations, class of 2023. May your future be filled with endless possibilities and remarkable achievements. I am confident that you will make us proud. You are always welcome back. 
we encourage you to return for visits or for a lifetime. You are Spartans, and once a Spartan, always a Spartan. Congratulations. At this time, we will have Ms. Sarah Clausen and Mr. Michael Graham with the presentation of the graduates. Emma Grace Janicek. Emmeline Elizabeth Benham. Gabriel Jonathan Baldini. Michelle Grace Baltruzak. Kirsten Marie Becker. Grace Marie Berenbrock. Skylar Lynn Bradford. Carly Lynn Bunker. Madison Lou Cantu. Rachel Chen. Allison Irene DeCorn. William Conrad Grass. Camden Daniel Hampshire. Liliana Shea Hardenberg. Adam Joseph Hodges. Kenzie Elizabeth Howland. Mackenzie Elizabeth Klein. Rose Allison Merriman. Abriel Nicole Reister. Brockton Noyes Richmond. Sophie Renee Tavares. Macy Jane Wheelock. Preston Matthew Adams. Ireneo Aguilar Duarte. Ivan Aguilar Duarte. Astrea Alcozer Rodriguez. Reese Robert Alt. Cyrus Xavier Anderson. Mason Thomas Barr. Landon Joseph Biter. Josiah Richard Bell. Aiden Lawrence David Burkampis. Mason Ryan Bernard. Chancellor Ramiro Bevers Rios. David William Bightley. Ian Blum. Jordan Blau. Dane Lewis Bowell. Haley Marie Borsma. Aaliyah Haley Booth. Julian Michael Boylan. Kelsey Melissa Brat. Benjamin Burton Bro. Mason Elliott Brown. Gunner Reese Busen. Ella Claire Butts. Brooke Lynn Byes. Hannah Nicole Byers. Jocelyn Kadana Bernal. 
Victoria Crystal Kane. Iliana Kaola. Anthony Michael Cardosa. Sergio Castillo Botello. Joshua James Childs. Brandon Keith Clayton. C4, Clarence Connor Christopher Crawford. Eli Daniel Kramer. Emmanuel Cruz. Aaron Joseph Curtis. Nora May DeLong. Giovanni De Los Santos Baruman. Kevin De Los Santos Baruman. Delaney Cora DeSellier. Charles Christopher DeVries. Sabrina Marie DeYoung. Aaliyah Jordan Dines. Aveline Anna Marie Drent. Cohen Matthew Dry. Troy Lawrence Dubois. Zan Michael Lee Deli Lowin. Samari Lee Dai. Colin Jace Edwards. Bailey Ann Elzinga. Trice Robert Fairchild. Justin Michael Fawcett. Terry Lee Feenstra. Tyler Robert Fennessy. Lazandra Nailene Garcia. Emma Lee J. Gard. Maria Guadalupe Gomez. Ruby Gomez. Faith Gonzer. Emily Nicole Gonzalez Barrera. Amira Michelle Grimes. Cohen Brad Grover. Jasmine Joe Gutierrez. Davian Rashawn Hammock. Dylan Michael Hammock. Elizabeth Jane Hartman. Julia Elizabeth Hernandez. Maria Del Carmen Hernandez Lopez. Madison K. Hitz. Scott Hook. Austin Michael Holtrup. Destin Adam Hubbard. Blake Matthew Eisenhoff. Kyle John Jackson. Noe Jaimez. Julia Rose Johnson. Drake Channing Keener. Raina Faith Knight. Colin Anthony Kovac. Eric Richard Krauss. Frederico Lee Krundyk. Michaela Jean Larman. Hunter J. Larson. Kyan Michael Larson. 
Jada Renee Lashaway. Connor Thomas Lewandowski. Paige Elizabeth Locke. Marissa Sue Loncor. Paige Ashlyn Loncor. Asa Marie Lochner. Erin Marie MacArthur. Estrella Janeth Macias. Nicholas James Markle. Let's go, Taylor Elizabeth Marlett. Brendan Allen Marshall. Benjamin Connor Mason. Jennifer Kaylee McKay. Hayden James Millering. Branson Heath Mitchell. Ethan John Moberly. Noah Brian Mamber. Brendan Patrick Morgan. Elijah Taylor Mull. Kelly Lynn Nethery. Federico Negro. William Gordon Nestor. Jet Allen Newton. Tanner Wyatt Nylon. Ashlyn Joy Nystrom. Blake Christopher O'Brien. Jacob David Odell. Adam Keith Ogg. Mason James Olson. Gustavo Enrique Olvera. Madison Brooks Odbeer. Brooklyn Lee Page. Jacob Christopher Page. Haley Elizabeth Pangborn. Colton Scott Panawasic. Hunter Ray Parmentier. Emma K. Pennington. Gage Richard Perry. Darren James Pickney. Abigail Jane Pinzia. Bethany Shirley-Ann Poling. Emily Rose Postema. Ava Virginia Pugno. Josiah Reed. Kendall Ryan Reed. Isaiah Joshua Reister. Logan Kenneth Hippole Rewe. Joseph Daniel Roberts. Gwen Olivia Rogers. Anna Ray Russell. Masre Edith Celeste. Sydney Damaris Saldana. Parker James Sargent. Lacey Jane Scheid. Logan Gregory Shiero. Jacob Daniel Scott. Nathan Michael Seekman. Kaylee Christine Sokolowski. Emily Sosa. Coben Anthony Spittler. Kyle John Suhan. Garen William Tennyson. Peyton Audrey Tazalowski. Kylie Ann Taroski. Keegan James Usher. 
Jacob Weston Bellholstein. Joshua Lawrence Vanatter. Emma Jo Van Overen. Skyler Daniel Van Wagner. Ethan Rain Vela. Carter Matthew Vogers. Ethan David Welsh. Brooklyn Rose Weronko. Henry William Whitmore. Cameron William Thomas Weebinga. Trevor Jonathan Wilcox. Maddie Marie Wilkinson. Stella Grace Williams. Isabel Virginia Wilson. Jax Andrew Wilson. Samuel James Wollen. McKenna Joyce Risley. Cora Elizabeth Zink. And Abigail Rose Zurich. Congratulations, class of 2023. Graduates, please stand. And we'd like you to turn and face your friends and family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2023. Graduates, you may turn your tassels. 